All right, all right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. We want to give our peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity. You know, uh, we the brothers from GMS Miami Camp. I'm your brother Zakaria. I'm, yeah, I'm your brother Kana Nat. Shalom. Shalom. And uh, Lord willing, this uh, walk and talk is uh, edifying to the elect. You know, this is a pregame walk and talk, you know, before we go to camp. All right, we just gonna go into um, how is the high time to wake out, of, wake out of sleep, man. All right, because our salvation is near than when we believe, as the scriptures say. Hey, and you, Jake, you know Jacob, the Israelites are running out of time. Uh, the hour of you know the hour of temptation is near. Uh, the date of uh, the gates of repentance is closing. That's right. So right now it's to hearken to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So Lord willing, be part of the elect, you be delivered and be shielded from all the perils that's coming upon the earth. That's right, because it's gonna be like a time never before. You got it. So um. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing that the time that now it, it is a high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation near than we believe. Yes, yeah, so, so knowing the time, you gotta know what time you're living in, man. All right, this is a time of great evil. I right, keep saying the last days, perilous times shall come. To wake out of that, that state of slumber, man, that, that, that worldly life, man. You gotta come back to Yahweh by Shema Shai. And how do you know that it's near? All right, you gotta be in the scriptures, all right? That's right. You gotta be, uh, uh, as the scriptures say, measure time, diligence, and self. And the read is what the Bible. That's the measuring stick. That's so right. the Yahweh Shai and the, uh, you know the disciples and the prophets that told us signs that would be sh uh, you know be coming upon the earth to show us that we had the end. Yeah. Yep. Right, and we've seen these signs. You know the different type of, mo of uh, moons. You know. Yep. Uh, the, uh, the upwards of the people. The, the um. Uh, the pestilence, pestilence, you know, earthquakes, uh, the water, you know, and we've seen all these things, and it's happening, it's just escalating and escalating, man. Every day, there's like breaking news, man. So, so it's, it's a high time for us, you know, to re repent from your sins and come back to the Lord, man. Yeah. And, it's, and it's beautiful. The water of Hashem that He gave us a time where we can uh, come back and, and uh, you know, repent, right, and seek right. Him. Right, you know that's beautiful. Yeah. You know we know only the elect is gonna do it. We give all praise to Abashim Asha for give, putting the spirit for us to do it. Right, right. And we, and we pray the Lord have mercy. You know that's what we see, that's what we doing is work work for for the Lord can have mercy on us, man. Yeah. Come on. You got it. Uh, Hello, what is this? Well, you got it. You know. Yeah. Uh, make no terry turn to the Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sirach, 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 Bob. Yeah, man. Sirach. And the Lord, you know, he about to um, catch these people like a thief in the night, man. As it says in the time, as in the time of Noah, mm -hmm. like, as in the time of Lot, like, they was eating, drinking, marrying until the, until the Lord they eventually flooded the earth and then destroyed, during the time of Lot, he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring cities. God, and this is what? Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, in the reincarnation. Yep. All right, and it's going to be destroyed worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, man. That's right. All right, because... These people, you see it. They push that vibration. Uh, the LGBTQ bullshit. Yeah. You saw the mics. Yep. And they pushing in our kids. And we lo and we vex like a uh, lot. Like, you yeah. Know? Vex is the fifth conversation yeah. of the weekend, yeah, bro. We vex. Yeah, God. You tired of this shit. We want to have you part of the show and this shit, man. That's right. All right, but hey, just knowing the terror of the most high. All right, <laughs> we persuade men, that's good to say. Yeah. We know, hey, we better get our shit together so we won't get caught yeah. in the judgment of Yahweh Bashim al Yeah, because Scripture says it's a terrible, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. Ah, you know? Fearful. You got that? All right, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perished in the day of vengeance. Yeah, so the scripture said, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and, not, and put not off from day to day. You know, you got to uh, do the work of the Lord, man. You know, you got to come out and make your body a living sacrifice. Yeah. No, don't put those things off because yeah. once you get sluggered, all right, then days go by. And then eventually the Lord said, if you lukewarm, he's going to screw you out of his mouth. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not supposed to put the day of the Lord, uh, you know, behind you, man. Uh, when he called, you're supposed to answer right away. It's judgment of those that... When he called and no one answered, yeah. you, you know, you put your hands in your ears and, and you disregard it. And it's, 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 the Lord said, judgment's gonna fall upon those individuals, That's right. man. He said, in our security, y'all shall be, y'all shall perish in a day of vengeance. Yeah, because the Lord said he about to, like the Lord said he gonna take vengeance on on his on the wicked, ah, on, on his, his adversaries. Enemies. Yeah, all right, because especially Israelites, man. That's a slap in the face where the Heavenly Father gave you a, a, a chance to repent and you basically spin in his face. Yeah. All right, so that's judgment, man. Yep. All right, your security. So when you thought you, okay, you got the bag, 
what you thought was very important, what is gonna save you, what is what is life, you're gonna find that there's no fucking um uh and no protection in that. Yeah, there's no substance. <laughs> there's no in substance. It. And scripture say, uh he 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 that loveth his life shall lose it. Huh. And no that loses his life for the Lord shall shall save it, man. You know? You got it, brother, whatever you have. Uh, I mean, you said, uh, you said Romans, the says rock, and uh, Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh by Shemir al where he may be found. Yep. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, so you got to seek the Lord, man. The Lord, the Lord, power of Israel. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. 144, baby. Call Allah Shemir Shai. Yeah, read, read that again, brother. Yeah. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh by Shemir al while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, supposed to seek the Lord while he may be found. Why? Because that feminine word coming. Yeah. And soon the prophet's not going to be out on the streets. Yeah. Right? The apostle and elders not going to be putting up videos like that, man, and the yeah. brothers. It's the time, right now is the time to hearken. It's, now is the time to hear the Lord's, of the, the, the word of the Lord, Salakia, you know? Right. It's going to be a time, like it says, it's going to be a feminine word. Yeah. All right, the prophet's not going to be out here prophesying while all hell is breaking loose. Nope. Be here just to tell you before, so many things are happening, our Lord is going to hide us. That's right. He said he's going to let our, um, our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth and not be a reprover anymore. Be dumb. That's right. All right. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Yep. All right. You don't have forever. You see, Jake think you have forever. I'm going to do it when I'm older. No, the Lord said he wants you to seek him while you're in your youth. That's before right. Before the evil day comes. That's right. Now, and what it says in Ezekiel 12, our people think uh, the vision that he sees is a far off. Yeah, far off. And that's, that's been our people since, you know, since I've been, you know, I came in this recarn in this reincarnation, man. Right. Oh, it, it's been 2000, you know, it's it been said that when my, my my grandpa was young, but we see it, it's evident that we are there. That's right. All right, and we're closer than right. when you're full, when you when you was a little kid, you said, oh, I heard that before. We, we're closer than then. Right, you see the, you see the MOTB, you see the World War Three growing up. All right, you see Esau about to come in and shut these shit down. Uproars of the people. Uproars of the people. Earthquakes. All the signs are here daily at the same time. So you know we close out of air. You know? They call I'm not about shot. Giving us the, uh, the, you know, the understanding and wisdom to understand these things. That's right. And not be lost like these people. So you got to give glory to y'all for that, man. That's right. So, All right, so a little quick lesson, man. Hey, hey, it's time to repent. It's time to draw near to the Heavenly Father. All right, because... It's ticking. The time is ticking. The time is ticking. So we're going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders, and the elders, and salutations to all the Akim, especially the truth, Ankara Ra, Wake and Lekin, Lutheran, Mashra, Pomyashwala, Hoyashwala, Shalom, Babu Ba, Shalom. Let's go.